Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, I'm going to test X Word Slater's adjustment where he was given magic scaling on his skills. This means magic items will now increase his damage, unlike before, where if you equip Ice Queen Wand, that plus 75 magic power becomes useless. Now it won't go to waste because it will add damage on his first and ultimate skill. With these changes comes the big question, should you go full magic build? Honestly, I don't think it's optimal. Remember, he only scales with magic power, which means he still deals physical damage. Before we talk more about his changes, let me annoy the enemy jungler first. I was forced to take the Roma rule since no one adjusted on my team. Going back to his changes, I don't think full magic build is good enough. If we take a look at both builds, we can see that the magic one is lacking cooldown reduction. You'd want Xborg to have high CDR because his main damage source is spamming his skill one. If you want an optimal build, you'll have to mix both physical and magic. Maybe you can try this one. Ice Queen Wind is too good to pass for Xborg because of the slow effect and movement speed. But for this game, I'll experiment a bit just to give you an example. So this is going to be the build that I'll use. Remember, this is just an example. Don't copy the build because it's wrong. Number one wrong item here is Concentrated Energy. As you all know, it gives magic lifesteal, but the problem is Xborg doesn't deal magic damage. He still deals physical damage, which means magic lifesteal won't work. First turtle is up. Let me help our jungler. Remember the rule guys, never chase a low HP Kagura. But when she chases you, you run for your life. Xborg also got a buff where he no longer stops when recovering his armor. This is good because I remember so many enemies escaping because of the sudden interruption. A team fight is about to happen at top lane. Let me help them by doing what I do best. Yes! It's taking too long to get my first magic item. If only they didn't make me the rumor, I could have Ice Queen 1 by now. Am I scary? <laughs> Don't worry! I'm just scared. Fire! When playing Xborg, I usually use the crab as my source of Firaga armor. I just hit it for a few times and then reset it to regain HP. Uh, super. And it's dead to Gura again. So after 6 minutes, I finally got my first item. The good thing with the update is that I no longer lose damage when building Ice Queen 1. I get all of the features except for the 10% magic lifesteal because it doesn't work on physical damage. It's Kagura again. I'm gonna chase her because she isn't low on HP. I'm just a kid. So third turtle is up, but our jungler is too far. Let me scout the area to see if the enemies are there. They're here, and it looks like they're having a hard time killing it. Why don't I help you guys? You're welcome. What can I say except you're welcome? Here's an example of how useful Ice Queen 1 is. Anyone else? Initiate retreat. 
next item is Glowing Wand, but honestly, I think you should build it on the 5th or 6th slot. It's more effective for late game when the enemies have higher HP. Why did I care for anyone else? So now I got my glowing wand. Let's test it on the enemies. The enemy got the Lord, but we killed the three of them. Now we'll have to defend the lanes. After disposing the Lord, we found a group of monkeys trying to steal our tower. So after a couple of minutes, the Lord is alive again, but the enemies are already attacking it. Fire! My Lord steals strategy to make work, and now I'm dead. My last item is supposed to be Necklace of the Rams. But if I were you, it's better if you use Sea Halberd. It gives more damage and you get extra 25% attack speed. Remember guys, this is just a test build. Don't use it because it sucks. Few tips to remember. Concentrated energy doesn't work. Use Glowing Wand on late game. Sea Halberd instead of Durant's. And always have map awareness. Ah, nothing can ever heal. So what can you say about the changes on next board? What magic item will you use? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. That's all for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching.